And so, uh, to our next candidate, who originally trained as a dental surgeon and practiced that for a number of years. She's now an inventor, she works in medical research, as well as charity. She describes herself as perpetually curious. I think all of us, actually, are perpetually curious why democracy, in the mother of all democracies, seems to have been ditched. Why on earth haven't we left? We're curious about that too. But anyway, um, Laura never imagined she'd be standing as an MEP candidate. But she, like the other great candidates, just felt compelled. She just said, this is an outrage. Enough is enough. And that's why it's fantastic to have her as a candidate here in the West Midlands. Please give a huge welcome, Laura Keverhazy. Please welcome to the stage, Laura Keverhazy. <laughs> Good evening, well and all, and thank you for your support. It is great to be able to talk about Brexit and not get attacked. And actually, I was up on a digger yesterday canvassing on a, on a building site. The brickies were below, and uh, <laughs> that's what happened. I am proud to join us with such a special group of candidates representing modern Britain, and honored to be standing in West Midlands. Like everybody else, you feel it's terrifying to live your private life and step in the public arena to raise your head above the parapet and become a target. I am not a politician. I am a mother and a grandmother of four. I have worked as a dental surgeon, I was involved in medical research and charity. We were vilified, we were slandered and sneered at by the politicians and the media. We were called racists. Now I'm asking you, is it logical that overnight 50% of the country, the majority, are suddenly racists? <laughs> I mean, who is that? We were even called Nazis for believing in Britain and supporting Brexit. This is deeply offensive to me personally. I've lost several family members in the Holocaust. I am coming from a family displaced by war. lived in a dictatorship under Nazis and communists, only when you have no voice and no freedom, you understand how precious democracy is. We are entitled to live in a democratic society where we vote and politicians deliver. We... <laughs> We voted for our taxes to be spent on British people and not EU budgets. We voted to be in charge of our laws, in charge of our taxes, our defence and our borders. We voted not to become one state, one member state, out of a federal super state of 28. <laughs> Where English language, it's one of the 24 official languages. We don't want our young men and women enrolled in the EU Federal Army. We voted 
wanted to control our own industry and manufacturing. They are fantastic businesses in West Midlands. That are, that are expanding. That are expanding. Aston Martin, BAE Systems in Telford, JCB that manufactures in Staffordshire since 1945. We have all the international banks. We have Bet365, the Rigby Group, the Doncasters Group, and many, many more. There are more international companies in, and businesses in Birmingham than in any other city outside London. <laughs> what we have in common is that we believe in Britain, not Brussels. Patriots, and that we should be proud. We are not racist. <laughs> Last week, we were even called the village idiots of Brexit <laughs> and the herd with no GCSEs. I mean, that's surreal. <laughs> In spite of all the abuse, we must stand up together and change our politics for good. Yeah. The Brexit Party created a national movement, a unique movement that brings together pub owners and academics, stay-at-home moms and teachers, business people, fishermen, and immigrants like me, proud to call Britain home. And as we see around the country, the Brexit party takes the anger, despair, and humiliation and transforms it into hope, courage, and belief in a brighter future for all of us. Vote for the Brexit party, stand with us, and together we will have our voices heard. We are the many, not the few. <laughs> because, because, ladies and gentlemen, Brexit, it's our generation's Battle of Britain. We have to fight it. Thank you. Isn't it great?